Tim Leonard on the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier. It's a victory tonight for the O's. Let's hear from manager Brandon Hyde. I did not know it was going to be headed to the second deck. I was hoping it wasn't going to hook, and it uh, kind of straightened out. So, uh, was that the longest of the year? Yes. Yeah. No, it was, uh, it hit it great. The reaction in the dugout was like a lot of our home run reactions. It's a lot of excitement. It was a gold chain. And um, guys were extremely happy. So, hey, good for Hazy. I mean, he got, he took some good swings tonight. A couple, a couple of weeks ago, when you were asked about about the wall, and you said, well, as soon as the weather starts to, to warm up, the balls are, you, you anticipated a, a change. Is this exactly what you um, yep. thought was going to happen? I think we kind of noticed it in the Seattle series. I felt like balls were carrying a little bit more. I thought the ball was really carrying tonight. Not to take anything away from the homers, but even like there's a lot of deep flyouts. Balls, uh, like the ball, you know, Trey hit, kind of carried, not the homer, but the the, the next at bat. Um, yeah, I think we've seen it here before, and the balls carry, <laughs> balls carry here, and and um, but we hit five tonight, and it's good to see. You had a power surge on Saturday, but it seems like you're taking more advantage of this. These long balls, keeping the, keep the opponents inside the park. I thought we took, I, you know, I just, it was nice to see Mateo, you know, get on a breaking ball and good to see Sed leading off the game. That was, for me, that was his best swing in a long time. Just a you know, breaking ball down, really dropped his eyes down to the ball. Um, but, you know, a couple guys that have been scuffling a little bit and to see them drive the baseball, that was great to see. Um, Ramon, too. Ramon has got some sneaky power. Uh, ball balls really carries off his bat, so yeah, we're swinging the bat. We swung the bat well tonight, and and um, I thought we took some pretty good at bats. Cedric, you mentioned this is the best swing you've seen in a while from him. I mean, is, is that maybe a sign that he could be turning the corner a little bit? Yeah, and then even that next at bat, he kind of got out in front a little bit on a changeup, but he hit it deep to center field. It was a really good swing. It was good to see him stay back on that, just just to click a click little too early. But I thought his swings were good tonight. What have you seen out of him? to this point in the season, obviously not necessarily putting up the numbers that we saw of him last year, which were obviously very good. But how, how do you kind of judge him at this point of the season? I just think he's off to a slow start. I mean, I think it's unrealistic to to try to repeat a 30-30. I mean, it's hard, to, <laughs> it's hard enough to do it once. And um, Seth's probably putting too much pressure on himself. And, and uh, but he is grinding. Uh, he, He's an incredible worker in the cage, and he's trying to get it right. And, and um, you know, I think we're we're seeing small doses of of good things that could lead into uh, a big second half. Is it frustrating for Ashton to get out of fifth? Yeah, you know, that a little bit. Um, yeah, of course, I wanted him to try to get through five there. The pitch count got to a really uncomfortable number for me. Just because there was a foul ball war there with. Uh, wisdom, unfortunately, three two, and then three or four foul balls, and got his number to a point where I didn't feel good about <laughs> keeping him in the game. And um, but yeah, I mean, it, we had a six run lead, and I'm trying to get the guy to get through five. And you know, Contreras jumped on the first pitch of the, of the inning, but then he had then he got two fairly quick outs, and uh, I think you know another lesson learned a little bit for for him. Just got to try to keep your pitch count a little lower and. I thought he struggled with command early, early in the game. A lot of fastball up misses. Breaking ball was kind of below the zone quite a bit. Um, we we uncharacteristically walked seven tonight. So that was we haven't been doing doing that very often. Um, but hopefully next time we'll get through that. Hayes hasn't been the splittiest guy, but is there is there a reason he's crushing right-handers? Are you seeing is there anything he's doing behind the scenes that's getting him that that well attuned? No, I don't. Not no. I mean he's he's. I think it's just in a really good place right now, and we're facing. I think we face quite a bit of right-handers as, as of late, and um, no, he's he's hitting the ball hard. Uh, I think you're seeing what kind of player he can be when he stays healthy and he plays every day. What, do you, what did you see from your lineup? Five home runs tonight. I mean, you you went up against an undefeated pitcher tonight. Uh, did you guys see something that kind of clicked to to kind of help you at, at the plate tonight? Well, I, I thought you know. 
Morel jumped on that first pitch of the game, and, and it was nice nice for us to answer. We, we haven't been real good at scoring early in the game, and I feel like the majority of the year we've done most of our damage kind of late in the game and kept games close or won games that way. Um, so it was great to see us score two in the first, three in the second, two in the third. We haven't done that a whole lot this year, really in the past few years. Um, no, I just thought we came out swinging, swinging aggressively. It was just a little bit, maybe a little contagious, and and said and Trace kind of set the tone there in the first inning. That's all from the PNC Digital Desk. PNC Bank, helping to make banking easier.